I've started by removing all of the X and Z axis components and installing the two linear rails. Linear rails are way better than the stock wheels setup because you don't have to tighten them and movement is really precise. I'll start by installing the Z axis stepper motor. I will be using stock hardware for most of the steps. This is the motor bracket, it will be mounted directly on the extrusion. Most of the printed parts use T-nuts in order to connect with the aluminium extrusions. First you need to put the bracket on top of the motor, don't use screws yet. And now put the both parts on top of the base. Align the bracket with the extrusion and tighten the screws to secure it in place. After the bracket is secured in place, you can use screws to connect the motor to the plastic part. And now that the motor is being held in place, you can install the Z-axis LED screw. You can use the stock LED screw which came with your printer. This big part right here is the X-axis motor bracket. It connects the X-axis with the Z-axis. Start by sliding the LED screw through it, beginning from the top. And now you can connect the LED screw nut to the printed part. I've used two M3 screws to secure it in place. Now you can connect the plastic part with the linear rail carriage using M3 screws. Make sure to align it properly. Everything is now secured in place and working. You can test it out by rotating the LED screw with your finger. Now it's time to install the X-axis stepper motor. It's the stock motor with the new belt pulley attached. Motor is being held down in place by 4 M3 screws. Now I will install the X-axis aluminium extrusion. It's not stock one, I've had to buy longer one for this build. It already has linear rail and tensioner installed. Now I can just slide the X extrusion into the motor bracket. Bracket should not be tight, it should slide in with ease. I will use the non-rotate T-nuts to secure the extrusion in place. Now it's time to put the belt through the axis. It should go all the way through the extrusion and wrap around from the other side. Belt should be long enough so that both ends meet each other in the middle. Keep in mind that the belt should hide inside the extrusion. After installing the belt, you can install the other set axis bracket. Align the bracket with the carriage and secure it with M3 screws. Don't tighten it yet. It's important to leave the axis loose for now as it has to be leveled before tightening. It should wobble a bit when moved. I've designed these simple jigs which will make it easier to level the axes. Those will basically hold both extrusions parallel to each other. After mounting the jigs you can tighten both set brackets. The X axis is now leveled. This piece right here will be used as a hotted carriage. Start by inserting both ends of the belt first. It will be easier this way. After the belt is installed, secure it with M3 screws. These two small bits will be used as belt lockers. They will lock the belt in place. Tighten the belt locker so that the belt won't slide out during use. Now you can use the belt tightener to finish up the X-axis installation. 
As you can see, everything works as intended. There is movement when connected to my PC. Of course that's just the basic mod which can be further improved. I've already made some improvements so stay tuned. As always, huge thanks to my patrons and see you soon.